Hello friends, today we are going to see how to check a linked list is a palindrome or not. So let's see the example. These are the two examples and the first one is an odd length linked list and the second one is an even length linked list. So for writing the program to check whether the linked list is a palindrome or not, these are the five steps to be followed. So let's see the steps. This is the first step. Split the linked list in the middle. So for splitting the linked list in the middle, this is the code. Now we are going to execute this code on the first linked list. See here, P and Q, these are the two pointers which will initially point to the head of the first linked list. So now this is the linked list which we are going to deal with. I will mark it as the first. Now let's go inside the while loop. P equal to P points next points next. So this means P will move forward by two positions at each iteration. And the lines after this the red square for now, we have to ignore this red square because this is the breaking condition for this while loop. And we will discuss this condition at the last iteration. So now, this is an important line and the second line is this line. So it says Q equal to Q points next. This means Q will move forward by one position at each iteration. So let's see. So for the first iteration, P will move forward by two positions. So let's move forward P. So this line is executed. Now Q will move forward by one position. So at the end of this iteration, Q will point to B and P will point to C. Again, the next iteration. P will move forward by two positions and Q will move forward by one position. Yes, again the next iteration P will move forward by two positions now. Let's come here and now. <laughs> so this is an important iteration. After P moves by moves forward by two positions this condition that is if p points next equal to equal to null so this condition becomes true see here the next node of p is null so which means p points next equal to equal to null is true so let's go inside this while loop uh, inside this if loop so here is a pointer start second. So start second is a pointer which points to the second linked list. Which means, see, we are going to split this linked list. So this linked list, we are going to split it. So this one linked list will split into two linked lists. So after they split into two linked lists, the start second will point to the head of the second linked list. So let's see how it points to the head of the second linked list. So start second is equal to Q points next points next. So right now Q is here and as there are two next pointers means Q will move forward by two positions. So two position next of Q is C. So this address will be assigned to the start second point. So this means the start second pointer start sec start second pointer will point to C. Okay. And then break condition will be executed. So then the loop will break. So we will come out of this loop. 
After coming out of this loop, there is a line q points next equal to null. See here, q is still here. So, we will make next pointer of q as null. And then the next step. So, the second step says prepare two linked lists. Yes, we have prepared these two linked lists. If it is an odd length linked list, so how do we know this is an odd length linked list? If p points next equal to equal to null, if this condition gets satisfied, this means that this is an odd length linked list. So, in this second example, you will come to know it better. So, if this is an odd length linked list, then ignore the middle node. See, for this odd length linked list, this D is the middle node. And we will ignore this node. So, the reason behind this is, for example, you have a linked list A, B, C, B, A. This is an odd length linked list where we match B with B, A with A, but we don't match C with anything because this is the middle of the linked list and that is a single node. So, we ignore this node because it doesn't play any role in matching to check the palindrome. So, we have ignored the middle node here it was D and now we have these two linked lists. See, reverse the second linked list. So, the next step is to reverse the second linked list. As this is the second linked list, let us reverse this linked list. So, after reversing it will become A, B, C and C will point to null. Yes. And the fifth step is compare the two linked lists. Yes. So, we have to compare this first linked list and this is the second linked list. So, A is matched with A, B is matched with B and C is matched with C. Which means, yes, this is a palindrome. And now, let's go to the next example. That is this example which is an even length linked list. So, similar to the previous example, P and Q will point to the first node of this linked list. For the first iteration, P will move, by, move forward by two positions and Q will move forward by one position. Again, the second iteration, P will move forward by two positions, Q will move forward by one position. Third iteration, P will move forward by two positions and Q will move forward by one position. At the fourth iteration, P will move forward by two positions which means it will become null. It will point to null. And after this step is over, that is P equal to P points next points next means P has moved forward by two positions. Then this if condition that is P points next equal to equal to null will not be satisfied. But this if condition that is if P equal to equal to null will be satisfied. So let's see. If P equal to equal to null start second equal to Q points next. So, the starting of the second linked list is Q points next, means this is the start second. This is the start second. And then uh, we come out of the while loop because of this break condition, and then Q points next equal to null. So, we point this to null. Then this step reverse the second linked list. So, we reverse this linked list. It will become A, B, C, D. 
and then we compare the two linked lists. So A is matched with A. We will write the pointers here first. Huh? So A is matched with A, B is matched with B, C is matched with C and D is matched with D. Yes, this is a palindrome. So if for example here is F, then C will not match with F. So this is not a palindrome if F was there. So this is how we check if a linked list is a palindrome or not. Remember that this is a pseudo code means this is an algorithm and the full code and full working code you will get on this my github link that is github.com slash vivekanand44. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.